Hello and welcome to Northumbria University Library. My name is Helen and I'm here to talk to you about Northumbria University Library. This is only a very brief session, but it will be covering the help we offer researchers, the resources you can access and the physical learning and research spaces available for you to use. For more details about the library, feel free to get in touch with us, pick up a flyer from the front or come along to one of our extended induction sessions. More on those at the end. As part of your training as a researcher, you may have already interacted with the Graduate School, who offer a wide range of training through their Professional Development and Researcher Training Programme, also known as PDRT. Additionally to this, the Library offers some specific training through the Researcher Development Programme, also known as RDP. This includes workshops and drop-ins on copyright, literature searching, research data management, open access and EndNote referencing software. In addition to these training sessions, you can get individual help from the library. The skills development team offer help with referencing, searching the literature and academic writing. For more information, see the big blue banner at University Library Online or see our flyer. The scholarly communications team offer help with preparing manuscripts, effectively sharing your research and all aspects of open research including options for open access academic publishing, data management plans and research profile and ORCID support. Finally, the Copyright Service offer help with protecting or exploiting your own IP, contractual negotiations with publishers, using the work of others in your work, copyright and image use, text or data mining and open access. Other teams, such as the Collections team, are also available to help you. More on them later. In general, the library is here to help, so if you cannot find the answer at University Library Online and are not sure which team to contact, just contact Ask for Help and they'll forward your message on to the correct team. If you find accessing the library a challenge, please do get in touch with the library via Ask for Help to see what we can do to help. If you have a disability, you might also be eligible for a range of support, including borrowing books for longer, home delivery of books via the Book Postal Service, having someone borrow books on your behalf, a personal orientation tour of the library, one-to-one -one learning skill sessions, or alternative formats of resources. You can access this support through the Student Accessibility Team, who are there to help disabled students with all aspects of teaching, learning, and assessment. Get in touch with them through Ask for Help. You can find out more about this offering at University Library Online. This is the first place to come if you need to know anything about the library. In particular, the Information 4 pages are a great place to start. University Library Online is also where you'll find Library Search, which is the best way to search the books, journal articles and other resources the library has direct access to. For more information or any questions, please click here on Help or get in touch with the Skills Development Team for training. Library Search doesn't give you access to all the resources the library has access to. The A to Z of databases holds many more other resources. For example, if you are doing a systematic literature review, subject-specific databases such as PubMed, which only covers medical material, are particularly useful. If it appears that we do not have access to a source of information or a resource, please do get in touch via Ask for Help, and we might be able to help. One option is Interlibrary Loan. This is a free service where we source resources like books and journal articles from other libraries and send you a digital or physical copy. Another option is to access other libraries, including Newcastle University, using the Scornal Access Scheme. If all else fails, please do just get in touch through Ask for Help and the library can advise. The library exists both as physical buildings as well as an online space. You can visit one of our four library locations. City Campus Library, off the main City Campus Quad. Law Practice Library, on Floor 1 of Business and Law Building, at City Campus East. Digital Commons in Northumberland Building, on City Campus. And Coach Lane Campus, just a few miles east of the City Centre. Any Northumbria student can visit any of our library locations. Just bear in mind that libraries tend to contain the books that support the courses taught on the relevant campus. For example, many of the books on the Health and Life Sciences are at Coach Lane Campus Library. To enter any of the library sites, 
the first thing that you need is your smart card to swipe your way through the library gates. By the lift and stairs, there is a board which shows what facilities and study spaces are available on each floor. Just to mention, if the fire alarm goes off, please evacuate the building. Leave your belongings and leave via the nearest fire exit. Use the stairs, not the lift, to evacuate. If you want to take books home, there are the machines you can use to borrow and return books all for free. Why not go explore the library the next time you're on campus? The library spaces have been designed with students in mind and after listening to feedback. One of the spaces we have created based on feedback is the Research Commons in the City Campus Library and the Research Zone in Coach Lane Library. These are more than just study rooms reserved for researchers. They are quiet places designed to help you with your research with double screens on all their PCs. In addition, the Research Commons has three collaborative spaces which can accommodate 12 to 14 people. There are also two research consultation rooms for one-to-one -one support or interviews. These spaces can be booked at University Library Online. The Research Commons also has lockers and hot water for drinks. If you have any general questions about the library and you can't find the answer at University Library Online, then Ask for Help is your first port of call. For latest updates on opening hours, new resources, learning and research skill sessions and more, you can follow us on social media. You can also keep an eye on our blog, Library News, for library updates. What to do next? Well, why not take a photo of this tick list and use it to guide your next steps? You can head over to the library for a visit and borrow a book or take a shelfie. You could also book a library tour. If you can't get onto campus, then why not visit University Library Online? You could book an extended induction with more information about what I've said today or an RDP session. You can also follow us on social media to keep up to date with what the library has to offer. Thank you for listening.